wonderful. I must get to the pictures this weekend. It looks like such a beautiful cinema, doesn't it? And I like the way you still call it the pictures. Yeah, oh, so yeah. Oh, well, the yeah. flicks. Oh, yeah, well, Do you want yeah. to go to the flicks, Keely? Well, that'd be lovely. Thank you very much, Tom. I'll yeah. meet you outside in ten minutes' <laughs> You'll time. You'll have to ask your husband. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he, he may have a problem with that. Uh, right, it's been a really cloudy, dreary day. We'll be glad to see the back of it, won't we? Uh, but we have had some nice pictures in despite the cloud. Uh, Scarborough looking lovely uh, with quite a bit of cloud overhead. Let's have a look at the second picture. What's this one going to be of? There you go, loads of cloud. Oh, yeah, Kirkley's looking absolutely, what do they call it, dreek, I think, in places. Yeah, visibility really quite poor across the hills uh, as well. And we've had a lot of cloud ev everywhere. But uh, against these uh, bright flowers, they do look uh, quite stunning, don't they, at times? Uh, there'll be less cloud over the weekend. More on that in a moment. Keep your pictures coming in uh, to the Weather Watchers page, or you can send them directly to us on Twitter or on Instagram too. So, yes, and we'll say goodbye to the cloud and the rain and we'll say hello to brighter conditions for the weekend. That's not to say there won't be any rain. There will be a few showers peppered in, particularly through tomorrow morning. But there'll be some sunshine in between and those showers will be blown through on quite a brisk northwesterly breeze. Uh, the air is coming all the way from Greenland, from Iceland. So it is chilly. It's coming in on that northwesterly flow. And I think particularly across the hills tomorrow, that wind will be quite gusty. But if you're out of the breeze and in the sunshine, I think it'll feel quite pleasant. A lot of cloud uh, today on the satellite picture and that cloud has been producing rain and drizzle on and off through the course of the day. We've still got some rain to come through this evening and overnight and we'll hang on to quite a bit of cloud. Drizzly conditions persisting for the hills, some breaks I think away from it and it's going to be a relatively mild night with temperatures down to around 14 or 15 degrees. Let's have a quick look at those high water times then. Uh, three o'clock on the nose in Scarborough and just gone three o'clock in Filey. So I think we'll start the day with quite a bit of cloud, particularly in the west. There'll be uh, a few showers from the word go. And if you're going to catch a shower, you're more likely to catch one tomorrow morning. But there'll be some sunshine in between. And, and look at that as we head through the afternoon. Those showers will tend to ease away with increasing amounts of sunshine. So an improvement through tomorrow. But blustery, uh, particularly along that Pennine chain, we could have quite gusty conditions here. So bright and breezy and temperatures a little below average for the time of year, getting up to around 18 or 19 degrees. But out of the breeze and in the sunshine tomorrow evening, I think with a little jumper, it'll feel quite pleasant. On Sunday, very similar. There could be the odd shower, bright and breezy conditions. Some of the showers on Monday could be sharp and it'll stay relatively cool and unsettled for the beginning of next week, Tom. D did you say drink? I think that's the right word, isn't it? Are you making this up? I'm I not... might be. It's, <laughs> it's been a long week. I could yeah. be making it up. It has been. That's the end of another week on Look North, a Dreek week, apparently. Uh, thanks for your company. We'll see you tonight at half past ten. Bye-bye. <laughs>